O.J. Simpson doesn't need uh, much of an introduction. O.J. probably is one of the best football players that ever played this game, and he last week he announced his retirement. But he's been doing a lot of acting, so I'm sure that he's going to continue to be in the public eye. And as a matter of fact, on December the 30th, at 8 o'clock here on NBC, he's going to star in a television movie called Goldie and the Boxer. Would you welcome O.J. Simpson. Hey, <laughs> How does it feel to be a retiree? Well, I really you, don't know yet. Do you have mixed emotions? You know, I, I know so many of the guys who play the game, and I asked Joe Namath once when he, he stepped down after his career, and I said, do you miss it? And he said, no, and then there was a hesitation, and he said, yeah, but there does come a moment, I suppose, where any professional athlete has to say, well, do I go another year? Do I step down now? For various reasons, right? Yeah, and I think every athlete thinks he can play longer. Right. Um, but I, I don't think emotionally I, I've... Uh, I, you know, realize yet that I right. retired and I'm not going to play again. I think every athlete, even the guys who play in the Super Bowl, you're glad the season is over. And I've, I've had a couple of tough weeks. You know, I've had uh, writers around me and a, and right. a couple of people doing films around me. And, uh, you know, they said, we want to see what it's like your last week in the yeah. league. And I said, well, it would be a little different if you weren't here, you know? <laughs> yeah, like so, this is a typical, hardly a typical <laughs> week when the press is falling into the dressing room, right? Yeah. What do you think you might miss the most? The, the actual... Uh, the camaraderie that exists between professional athletes, the friendships that you, you do make over the years, or the, the actual thrill of being out in front of that many people and being able to do something superbly. Yeah, well, you know, that spontaneous reaction from a crowd, right. you know, you, I know I'm going to miss that. I think the thing I miss the most is, you know, as players, you, you can get in a locker room, you get to know each other so well that you can really act silly, you know? Yeah. <laughs> you can go in every day and act silly and have a good time and, right. and uh, just let your, you know, let everything sort of hang out. And uh, I'm going to miss that, you know? Right. It's, it's part of the camaraderie and, you know, the feeling in the locker room, the joking around, and I, I'm going to miss that quite a bit. But yeah, in this business, I find that um, if you're on location, you can right. get, uh, you know, that, that sort of feeling with the people you're working with. It's sort of a team feeling after a couple of weeks, you know, uh, in Albuquerque on the desert, all the makeup is gone, and you know <laughs> the people you're working with, you know. It's, you know, you probably have records, you and Jim Brown are together, because I think Jim and you are the one and two in all-time yardage, uh, records that will probably really may never be broken because there are an incredible number of yards you said well they're all going to be broken uh, we got you think so at, you think athletes get better every year a lot, a lot of the guys who played 20 years ago seem to think that the guys nowadays are stronger uh, faster or for whatever the reasons either they're, they're growing up differently or different nutrition or something but are, are better athletes generally the one from 5 10 15 years ago yeah i think that's what everyone i think doing the war the average height of men was right. your height and now they're <laughs> <they're> <laughs> I wasn't with the Japanese, O.J. I was, uh, I was on our side, you know. You have a misconception. Now, how, how tall do you think I am? No, I, you know, I, I th you, you surprised me. I played just, tennis with you uh, yeah, a couple of years ago, I and did. I was surprised you. you know, just about six, than I just about six feet. Never uh, quite made it. Uh, I always have to put down five eleven and a half, uh, which uh, always bugged me. But all you think, well, they're all getting bigger. Yeah, I think everybody, you know, athletes, they, they eat better, they train better. And, uh, you know, you look at a guy like Earl Campbell. When I saw him, I was, uh, you know, amazed that a guy his size can run the way he run the ball. I saw a high school game the other night. They were televising some local. Now, the guy's in high school, 16, 17 years old. And they'd say, well, here's Rick so-and-so from El Segundo. Rick weighs 270 pounds. <laughs> and the kid is 16 years old in the high school. 260 pounds now that's crazy yeah and they, they're better they, this is the day of the specialist you know right. when I when I first started playing football you played both ways and right. the guys who weren't real good played defense you know right. and the guy the better guys play offense but you, you have to play both ways now you got guys who they come into pro ball and all their lives they've been a guard all their lives they've been a defensive back so they're better prepared by the time they get to pro ball and uh, we're playing more games and I was surprised uh, uh, my record, 2,003 yards in the season. I was surprised this year wasn't broken because I thought halfway during the season that uh, Walter Payton would break it. But right. um, uh, they had a couple of tough games in there. But I, w I, I would be surprised if it's not broken in the next two yeah, or three years. Yeah, but that's a sensational record. Do you still keep active? I know you play tennis. Do you know anything else that you do? Well, I play a lot of racquetball, but, you know, I'm, I just retired, you know. Yeah. I have to tell people I'm not dead. I just retired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, 
Uh, Let me take a break. We got a little piece of film from, I think, uh, your upcoming movie, but we'll do this first. We'll be right back. He is not dead, so... Do you like the acting end of it? When did you, when's the first thing uh, you did? I know well, you're still playing football, of course. Yeah, the first thing I ever did, I was holding out for Buffalo, trying to get more money. and uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, I was right out of USC, and I had a, a couple of uh, producers come to me and ask yeah. me if I can act. And I said, sure, I can try to act. And uh, they gave me a little part in the show. And it was a medical center show, and it became their premier show, the first one ever shown. Right. And since that time, people have been offering me roles, and I've been doing it. And I didn't take it serious until I was in Orville, California, once doing a film called The Klansman with Richard Burton and Lee Marvin, and they were really kind of going at it. And uh, Liz Taylor was there, and we were sitting around one night, and they were talking about food, and, and the conversation got on chili. And Liz was saying the best chili in the world was at Chasen's. That's right, true. So everyone started saying, oh, it was great chili. So somebody made a call. In an hour and a half, they had a private jet bring a pot of chili from Chasen's to Oroville, California, and two hours later, we're eating chili, and I'm saying, I like this life. I like this. <laughs> I like this kind of work. <laughs> How many guys sit around in the locker room and say, let's uh, send out for chili and have it thrown in by jet? The movie is called Goldie and the Boxer yes. on NBC coming up. I forgot another date. Coming up December 30th. Yes. Right? Did you like uh, how it turned out? Oh, yes. I'm a little proud of it because I had the script for five years, and it's right. the first thing that my company, my production company, has done mm -hmm. uh, other than a TV special, and uh, we think it came out real well. Okay. Now, we got about a minute clip here. Does this need any setting up uh, at all? I don't know what... Well, this, this is, I think the scene here is with me and the little girl, and I just got out of the Army, you know, when all the guys were your height, and uh, 1946, <laughs> and uh, I had just finished sparring with her, pa her father. She just found me unconscious by the railroad tracks, and he's just given me a job as his sparring partner, and uh, uh, she asks to be my manager, and I tell her it's okay, and we're just now walking to go have a bite to eat. Okay, here's a little clip from Goldie in the Box. <laughs> That's a nice little scene there. Many actors, you know, are not particularly thrilled about working with young children because they say, don't work with children, what, animals? Because you get upstaged every time? Well, I tell you, I, I worked a, a scene once with Paul Newman, and he told me that as long as you play your character, you'll be all right in this business, no matter who you're working with. So, Just, uh, yeah, if you play your character. You what's know? next for you? Um, well, right now, we're, we're, we may be doing a feature film through the company. We did another film called D Tour that will be shown in February, also on NBC. So, uh, we're staying busy. Yeah. Hey, that's great. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. have a minute or so before we have to say goodnight. You've been probably are tired of telling the story about how you got the name O.J., but it wasn't something you had as a kid. Most people think you were called O.J. as a kid, but not true, right? Oh, uh, wrong. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was called O.J. Um, ever since I can recall. I didn't know my name was Arenthal until I was in the third grade, and a teacher, oh. I just went to a new school, and the teacher had called everyone's name, and they had sat down, and they finally, she said, who are you? And I said, I'm O.J. Simpson. She said, Arenthal. So I didn't make a big deal of it because right. my cl classmates was there, and I sat down, and I went home and asked my mother, what is my name? And she told me it was Arthur. Yeah. Arthur. Yeah. But it was O.J., uh, 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 and, oh, you know, they made it orange juice once I got to the pro, you know, in pro yeah. one. But that had nothing to do with orange juice, right? That had no. something to do with, with energy or something like that. Yeah, I was always kidding around and, you know, hyping things up and sort of juiced up, so to speak, <laughs> sort of like... Um, well, yes. Our friend yeah. on the end. <laughs> hey, I wish you much luck with the, with the movie and, and your career, and, uh, and thanks for all of the great moments you've given us all yeah, over the past few years in football.